<laughs> yo 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 what's up with you guys welcome back to another video it's tubeline hope you guys are having a great day so far and um today we got an interesting video today we're gonna work on any of you guys that are beginners that are working on trying to build your guys's clientele i'm gonna help you guys and show you guys how to grow so let's get started to start off this video is going to be to to kind of realize where you're at are you just starting barber school do you know how to cut how confident are you um are you like halfway in are you like getting just like are you barely just finishing um or did you just get your license and you're not really sure where uh what to do and all that stuff this is going to be for those people um if you fall in any of those categories even if you've already been cutting um, for like a little bit and you're still trying to figure out how to get that edge and, and get even more people in your guys's chair all of this is going to help you but I'm, I'm right now i'm kind of directing toward the beginner barbers um, that are still in barber school that um haven't been doing as much as they want to start off i will tell you guys it's gonna be a struggle man it's a struggle for me and it's gonna be a struggle um, and it's a struggle everybody goes through and, you know, that's that's how that's how it works, man um, If it was easy, bro, everybody would do it and it's not it's definitely not so um, I'm gonna let you know right now. It's gonna be a struggle and it's not gonna be an overnight process You're not gonna do these things and then boom all of a sudden you're gonna be booked um, Tomorrow, you know, it's, it's not that's not gonna be the case This is gonna help slowly graduate you um, Toward where you want to be but before we get into all of these tips and tricks uh, please smash that like button bro it's gonna truly help me out and uh, I truly appreciate every single one of you guys that do um, make sure to like and subscribe and without further ado let's get into these tips so to start off I will say I'm definitely not booked right now I'm definitely and I'm uh, in kind of the same boat as you guys um, if you're watching this and you're kind of like thinking like oh um, where are you at in your journey um, I'm about like a, like a month or so into barber school um, I've been cutting before, so it's not like I, I haven't. I don't know how to cut. I do know how to cut. I can definitely improve, and I know that uh, I'm extremely, I criticize myself more than anybody. The the more broad your, your expertise is in, the more you can do, the more opportunity you have, and the more, you know, diverse. Like, it's gonna be easier for you to build clientele because you, you don't, you're not targeting, targeting only one person. I would say the mo number one most important thing is be available. And it sounds kind of simple, like, okay, I am always available. Um, well, then you're doing the first step right. The first step is you want to be available, man. If somebody asks you for a cut, you want to be able to be available for it. Be like, somebody is like, hey, man, can I come in at this time? You, you want to make sure, like, okay, yeah, you can come in at this time. Um, you want to make sure that you're available because you have no idea whether that one person, if they're going to bring you so many people. You have no idea, man. So say that one person comes texts you and like hey man can i get a cut and they have been wanting to get it like they've been thinking about it but like, uh, i don't know i don't know if he's good enough blah 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 that's gonna help you tremendously so whenever they give you the shot if you're available then they're gonna come if you don't then they might think about it a little more like uh, do i really want to go and like should i yeah, it's gonna it's gonna like you know the inconvenience is gonna kind of mess them up now once you have a client that comes to you all the time um number one you always want to be available regardless but especially to first timers, um, because those are your potential new clients. So once they're coming back to you kind of uh, more, you can be a little bit more lenient, but um, those people you wanna cherish because those those are the people that are truly rocking with you, man. They're gonna help you the most. The people that continue to come back, especially at the beginning, bro, they're, they're like, yo, everything, man. They're the most important people. And those you really wanna give these opportunities that I'm gonna mention later on in the video. The second one is, why are you cutting from home? Because a lot of you guys are gonna be cutting in the garage or cutting from the house you have to ask yourself why are you cutting from home do you not have your license school and so you can't really work at a barbershop legally um if you have gotten your license my biggest thing would tell you 
hit the barbershop, bro. Hit the barbershop. That's like a night and day difference. Like, you're going to feel it. Uh, clientele is going to be so easy to build, man. Like, anybody that works in a shop, ask them. It, it's just, it just becomes easy, bro. If you're working in a garage on your own, it's just substantially harder. It's going to take you so much more time. It doesn't mean you can't do it. It's just going to take a long, long, longer, and it's going to be harder. If you can, I would suggest work in a barbershop, bro. That's going to be one of the most important things. And if you can't, then this is this is it for you, man. I'm going to give you every single thing that I do and that I do to try to get myself there. And I will tell you, the the more that you get people in your chair, the easier it becomes for more and more people to come. It's really only the hardest at the way, way beginning. But once more people start to come, it just kind of snowballs, man. Like, people will just text you. And you'll be busy with the clients you're working with. And all of a sudden, somebody's texting you, like, for you know in a little bit or maybe the next couple of days and you're like oh shoot and now you're gonna have your near next week is gonna have a few clients and that's how it's gonna become and you're you're gonna be so like caught up in what you're doing you're gonna forget about the people that return to you like you're gonna be so focused on trying to get these new guys in that um somebody you cut a couple of weeks ago is gonna hit you back up like hey man i need a haircut and you're gonna be like damn like i didn't even realize it's been a couple of weeks but they keep track because they keep track of their hair. They know how often they want to get a haircut. It feels like I just cut your hair. Um, that's how it's going to be when you start to get a little bit busier. You have to remember to always keep... If you, as long as you keep on doing something, bro, your time is going to pass by this. And it's going to just start to snowball. More people are going to start to come in. Um, the biggest thing that helped me is building an Instagram. Making it an Instagram, posting on there, taking pictures of every single haircut. And building an Instagram was probably the biggest thing for me was the biggest thing. And I would say the reason why is not because it brought me clients, because it hasn't really, you know what I mean? Um, that's not why building an Instagram is important. The reason building an Instagram is important, it's almost like, you know, when you're applying to a job, your resume, you know? When, when, you, when you go to a job, they're like, okay, I wanna see your resume. Boom, you give them your resume, and then from, from there, they'll decide your, your experience, your knowledge and all that stuff. And they'll be like, all right, we want to hire you. Or they'll be like, uh, no. But this is why, bro. You're giving them an opportunity to review your work, right? And that's exactly what your Instagram is going to be. You're going to build your Instagram. You're going to post your, your cuts. I would say post every single cut just so you can watch yourself grow and get better. And just cause so you're putting yourself out there, man. If you only put like what you think is your best cut, how often are they going to see it? Yeah, you post it one day, but then they're going to forget about it in a couple of days. So you want to be consistent. But if you're not cutting every day, that's okay. Like, post as often as you can. That's why I say, at the beginning, post every cut. Because I know you're not going to be cutting every day. I know you're probably not going to be cutting every other day. Like, depending on where you're at, I understand how, how often you're cutting. You know what I mean? What this is going to do for you. Say you have your Instagram, right? And you meet somebody, blah, 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 blah. Be like, hey, I'm a barber, this and this and that. And then they're like, oh, shoot, okay, are you good? Obviously everybody knows you're not gonna be like no i'm not good you might be like oh i'm all right but i would say be confident man you have to be confident in yourself for somebody else to be confident in you most barbers are no most clients don't see what you see you know what i mean maybe at the beginning because you're new but the better you get you're gonna start to develop an eye you're gonna start to see your your mistakes they're not gonna be able to see it as much as you are and that's when you kind of grow your your core your core like support system bro. those people that will go to you no matter what like they know you're not gonna do the best job but they know they're gonna be that that step to getting you to even better and those people are your most important people those are the people where you know you never raise your prices on you you those are the people that you know you hold dearly like whenever they come in you're like yo like shoot i can't like you're the you're the reason why i i can cut this good now because you your your head is is where i learned it all those are the people that really really matter and those are the people that you want to cherish bro you don't want to ever take advantage of those people those are the most important people and have them help you be like hey man any of your friends let them know about me this and this and this and that and that's how this is really going to stem from so what i do personally is i do referrals right now i do a lot of stuff but i do referrals so say you come in i'll tell them straight up man I'll say hey man i'm doing referrals so if you have anybody that um that you know that is looking for somebody or you could just suggest it to them and if they come to me and they say hey joe sent me or, or ryan sent me whoever their name is sent me uh, i'm gonna take a note of it and i'll give you ten dollars off um, your next haircut and so it, it gives them an incentive because most people want to help you out anyway you know they, they think you're good they, i'm gonna help them out anyway and it kind of just incentiv incentivizes them because if they do help you out boom they're gonna bring you a client that client is gonna start to come 
those clients, you're gonna start to be able to charge what you charge, right? And you can do it, it's like a cycle. If they start to come back, boom, you start to let them know, hey, I'm doing this thing, referrals, and they'll refer somebody else. And that $10 off is gonna be, it's nothing, bro. There's nothing compared to the clients that they bring you. Those clients are gonna, those, this is a chance for a forever client. So you don't wanna be like, oh, I don't wanna give dif discounts. Like, nah, bro, it, right now is the biggest time you wanna give discounts. Because when you start to build your whole clientele and you no longer need it, you're, you're gonna speed that process. You know what I mean? So right now, that's one of the biggest things I would tell you. People already wanna help you, but if you give them an incentive behind it, they're gonna wanna work even harder. I would do is, what I did was I built flyers. So, I'll show you guys right here. So basically what I would do is I'll go around, give people my information, go around to stores, and I'll give them my information, and be like, hey, I'm a new barber, this and this and this and that. This is how much I charge. If you're interested in coming in uh, for a cut, here's my information, and just contact me, and I'll, uh, we'll get you settled and all this stuff. And I will say it's not the biggest thing that has helped, but it is. it has brought some people to me. I have had some people come in from it. Now, I did it a lot, and not a lot of them actually even came, but it's okay, it's, a, it's all right, because it, it gave me an opportunity to, uh, to help. If I'm not doing anything, I'm just sitting at the house, you know, hoping for somebody to, to come get a cut, it's not gonna do nothing. Might as well go out there and, and go and, and try to present myself. If you're not doing anything, man, you're sitting around not doing anything, might as well go out and, and do it. What, like, what are you gonna lose? If they don't come, well, so what? If they do come, boom, you just got a client. You know what I mean? Like, you, like that's your opportunity to build a clientele. And that's, that's really important. Another thing that I would suggest, somebody made me a mask. And here it is right here. It's like a little barber mask and it has my Instagram uh, label over there. Um, the reason, I'm not gonna say this is the biggest one, but it, um, it will help you spark conversations. If you're wearing your mask right now because it's the COVID, or you can do shirts, whatever, like you just rep your own little brand or logo, whatever, right? So this is my little thing. And so I'll wear it and I'll go around. Some people will be like, oh, like you're a barber. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my Instagram right there on, on my thing. And it, it helps you spark a conversation. If somebody's walking around, they're like, oh shoot. They're gonna be interested. Like, oh, are you a barber? Boom, they're starting to come to you rather than you going to them. Because when you go to them, you're gonna get rejected a lot more often times. Um, and that's just the name of the game. That's what anything. And that's why being a barbershop is so easy almost because you're having people come to you for a haircut. You know, they look at the price and like, okay, they're willing to pay that. They're coming straight to you for a haircut. Um, rather than, you know, in a different environment when us, we have to kind of look for our clients because in this sense, this is the beginning. Like we have to tell people about us. The biggest thing is getting known. The biggest thing that I would tell you guys is start to tell your friends, your family, anybody, everybody that you know that is a boy that has hair, that likes haircuts, let them know, hey man, I'm a barber, this and this and this and that. And some of them will give you a chance. Some of them won't. That's why your Instagram is such a big deal, bro. Because that's what's gonna get people to turn. Like some people might not wanna come to you at the beginning. And it's okay, bro, because like you're not the best and you know that. And you're only trying to improve. But those people that are, don't wanna come to you now, they might give you a chance once they see your work starting to get kinda good. They're gonna like, oh shoot, my guy can cut for real. Like, I might have to try him out. That's when you start to get people to turn. People that you let know that are like, ah, oh, like I don't know that I wanna go because I don't, I don't know that he's that good. That's how you're gonna get most of your time. That's why most of the time you're not gonna get clients because people are not sure whether you're good. And I mean, it's understandable, like think about it. Like would you just go to somebody else that is a starter? I don't know. Uh, personally, I wouldn't. I don't wanna walk around with messed up hair. You know, nobody does. And so I understand, the, I understand why they don't. And you have to understand why they don't. That's why you need to practice and get as best as you can to get as good so that people don't feel like, oh shoot, I'm walking around with a messed up head because my boy Raul cut me. You never want anybody to feel that way, bro. You want somebody to look in the mirror and be like, oh, this is clean. Like, I like the haircut. You want people to go around and be like, damn, who cut your hair? That's, that's fresh, that's fly, like whatever. That's the biggest thing you wanna work on your work. If your work is there, now you just need to work on the marketing aspect, bro. Start going out, bro. Start telling people about you. Start having your clients tell other people about you. Start uh, incentivizing if they do bring you a client. Start, you know, putting yourself out there. That's really what the name of the game is, man. Building your clientele is getting yourself known. Getting yourself known as a barber. So any of your friends in high school, let them know, bro. Maybe give them a discount if you're not that great yet. Be like, you know what, I'll give you a free haircuts for now. 
or, or whatever, or $10, whatever you're charging, but maybe give them a little discount or maybe do their, their first one free. That's a big one I do for uh, my friends, all my family, but my friends, like uh, I give some of them, you know, their first haircut free. Um, that's a big one, you know, cause that's gonna incentivize their first time coming with you. And I personally believe I only need one shot, you know what I mean? For you to come in once and be like, all right, I'm gonna see what you can do. And that's all that I, that's all I feel like I need. Once they give me that shot, they're gonna be like, oh shoot, my guy can cut for real. That's, I believe that's all I need. So um, if that's you and you feel like that's all you need, then you need to start marketing and try to figure out how to get those person to you at the beginning. And your Instagram is gonna be a big way, man. Keep posting every day, man. Be like, hey bro, I'm, I'm available. If y'all need a cut, tap in with me. You know what I mean? Working out a shop makes it 20 million times easy. But I know not all of you can get, I'm not even in a shop yet. Um, for me, it's personally like I got a long way to go in barber school and I don't want to get caught too soon in there and then not ever be able to get my license. So for me, I'm just kind of waiting it out, building my clientele. But at some point, I'm going to start doing my thing, you know what I mean? But you got to be smart about it. You got to, there's only, in that type of situation, you can only be so smart. But so many people are doing it, um, I wouldn't say to not. Try to be as smart as you can for the situation. But these are my tips that I've been doing. And I won't say that I'm the busiest barber, bro, because I'm definitely not. Um, but I'm, I'm working toward there and I'm starting to have a lot less days where I'm not cutting. Um, I'm starting to have more and more days where I at least have one cut, at least two. Um, so I'm having more and more. There's a lot less days where I'm not sitting around hoping for somebody to be like, hey, man, can I get a cut? I have a whole lot less of more of those days. Like I said, it only gets easier from there. The second people start to come in and you start not to having days where you're not doing nothing, it's only gonna grow from there. You're only gonna get more and more people. So that's your biggest goal, man. Let people know about you. Give them an opportunity. Show people your work. Cause once you start getting good, man, people are gonna start be like, dang, that's clean. And then people are gonna be like, you're gonna start telling them your price and you're gonna be like, damn, okay. And they're gonna be like, oh, like only 20, only 30? Like, oh, your work is up there, bro. Okay, for sure. I'm gonna tell you that one more time. You don't want cheap people in your clientele any way. The people that don't wanna pay it, be like, hey man, you can go wherever you want. I know at the beginning it's gonna be tough because it's like, oh, I wanna get everybody. But nah, bro, don't let people try to tell you what you are gonna charge. You charge your chart, you charge your price and stick to it, man. Now, if you feel like you're charging too much because you're charging 40 or 30 and you're not licensed and you're not there yet, then you might want to think about it. But you're charging a good price, man. And you know that your work is up to par. Stick to it, bro. Stick to it. Make sure you build your clientele based off that price point. And as soon as you get booked, then you can start thinking about raising your prices. Start telling people. You know, that that's the name of the game, bro. If you, if you When you're out, if you're at the little football games, bro, start telling people, like, hey, man, I'm a barber, man. I'll hook you up for this. I'll hook you up for this. I'll tell you, you know, just do all that little stuff, bro, and you're going to get there. That's all, that's all it is, bro. Getting yourself out there. Most important, man. But I hope every single one of you guys get booked or start getting so much more busier than you are, man. I hope this brought a little bit of value and help to you. And if you guys want me to go in depth a little bit more, um, I will. But these are some of the things that I've done and that I have noticed that really did help me. In that month and a half or uh, whatever the case, I have noticed a big, big man. Before when I was working, I'll say like three months ago, I'll probably get a cut every once, two weeks. Now, um, I haven't not cut for like five days now. Yeah, five, five, four days. I don't know exactly, but I, I every single day I had at least one cut. So um, that that's my experience and it didn't happen overnight. And I had to grind. I had to go through countless days where I, I was just sitting around waiting for somebody to tell me, hey man, I need a cut and I, and I didn't get it. You know what I mean? Um, and it's gonna happen. It happens to every single one of us, bro. It's just like, like I said, it's a snowball effect. The more that people come to you, uh, the more it's gonna happen. The more people that are coming, it's because the more people are getting known. The beginning is gonna be the hardest, man. That's, once you get past that little, it's gonna be great, bro, because you never have to worry about it again. You know what you wanna do. This is the hardest part, building your clientele. Once you got your clientele, man, you can do whatever the heck you want, man. Your whole clients are gonna follow you. If this is for you, bro, and you know it is, work your butt off, man. You're gonna be able to get there. You're gonna just take the steps, make sure to grind for it, and y'all gonna start getting booked, man. Without further ado, it's too Blaine. I hope you guys have a great rest of your guys' day, and you know what it is. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video, but have a great day. <laughs> Peace.